Hello everyone, happy Thursday. A couple things, uh, I know I said I was going to do zucchini today, but uh, it is just too wet out there. We got a lot of rain last night, and uh, it's just too wet to go out there. So we're going to play around and we're going to do watermelon instead. So let's get it started. <clears throat> Today's date, 6, 11, 20. I'm talking about watermelon. Today is day, last time we met was day 18, and that was six days ago. So, I got 18, and then six days ago, first column, eight plus six. If I have eight watermelon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm adding, okay? <clears throat> it's like buying more. So I'm adding or getting more, six more watermelon. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many do I have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm going to put the four in my ones column, and in my ten column, I'm going to put a one. Next column, I have one plus one. I have one watermelon plus one more watermelon. How many watermelons do I have all together? One, two. I have no more columns, so I can erase my imaginary line. And now I know it's day 24. Watermelon's a fruit. The temperature today, it's gonna be a little cloudy, a little sunny, on and off. Uh, the rain's all gone, no. But uh, it's gonna be 81 degrees. Should be less humid. Last class was 87 degrees. <clears throat> so what's warmer? What's the bigger number? <clears throat> Today 81 degrees or 87 degrees last class? What is the bigger number, 81 today or 87 last class? 87 is the bigger number, so last class was warmer. By how much, I have to subtract. I'm getting my bigger number, which was last class, 87. And I'm gonna take away 81, my lower number. Remember, like I talked about yesterday, or the day before, when we do subtraction, take away, the bigger number always has to be on top. If this was addition, like how we did up here, it doesn't matter. The smaller number could be on top or the bigger number. But when we do take away subtraction, the bigger number always has to be on top. So, first column, I have seven, take away one. I have seven watermelon, I'm gonna take away or eat one of them. Seven watermelon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to take away or eat one of them. How many are left? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. That column is done. <clears throat> Next column, eight, take away eight. I have eight watermelon. I'm going to take away or eat eight watermelon. So I have eight watermelon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to take away or eat eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should use my eraser napkin. How many are left? Zero. There's none left. So I erase my imaginary line, and it's a difference of six degrees. So the last time we met was six days ago, and it was six degrees warmer last class. A little funny. Uh, today, like I said, depending on when you do this, it's going to be sunny or it's going to be cloudy. It's going to go on sunny, cloudy all day. Our plans. Let's see how it's doing. So you can see those little hairs, just like the tomato plant. See these little hairs there. 
across veins. I'm blocking, I can't even see my own pencil where I'm pointing. There we go, I see these veins. So let's measure it. We're at three leaves right now. We're at an inch and a quarter. An inch and a quarter. So it's going like this. One and one fourth of an inch. Flowers, zero. We have zero watermelon. The dirt is wet. <clears throat> so if it's wet, are we going to water it? No. So you copy the information from here while I put it on here. If you need to copy it <clears throat> from my sheets, you can pause the video now. Hey, if you pause the video, welcome back. <clears throat> we just did our journal sheets. And now on to our backside coloring sheets. For today, we're going to need six colors. The pot, you guys did a really, really good job using the yellow and blue. So I was thinking we could do the yellow and blue again for the pot. <clears throat> we need yellow and blue. We're going to use light green, dark green for the plants, and we're going to use brown and black for the dirt. Six colors. So, first thing I'm going to do, we're going to do this pot. We're going to do the pot, we're going to do yellow, blue on top. So let's get that started. Number for this, we want to press a little harder. Sorry if I'm shaking the table too much, the camera. But yeah, you want to press a little darker, harder, so it's darker, so the two colors can mix. So I did my yellow, done with that. I'm going to get my blue. And <clears throat> I'm using a light blue. So it just blends better, color pencils. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll get a dark blue. Let me go test it out. You can see. And just like the yellow, I was pushing hard. With a light blue, I'm going to push just as hard. So it really mixes in with the yellow.
There we go. Look how green that looks, huh? Let's do a quick test. If we do yellow, then we use a dark blue. So if we use a dark blue, it still turns out green, but I think that looks better using a light blue. But if you have no light blue at home and you only have a dark blue, then that's fine. We're only working with what we got. There we go. Dirt. Like I said, it's wet, so we're going to have more black than brown. So I'm going to get my brown. I'm going to put my black on top. I'm going to press harder with my black, but not too hard. I just wanted to show that the dirt is more uh, black than brown, but still show a little brown. Like that. All right, the plant. We have three leaves. We have these two round leaves, and then we have this leaf over here. It's kind of a much different shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use light green throughout the whole thing. Just uh, to my outline. And these outside leaves are round at the tip. So it's easier to do these two big ones first. Then you have a thin stem that comes out like that. And it's got that weird looking shape like that. With a pointy tip. Now I'm going to get my dark green. The stem is fine, but the leaves are darker, so I'm going darker. An outline the light green with my dark green. Oh, no, there goes my pencil. My pencil broke. Let's see if I can finish it just this one little section. We finished it. Now, <clears throat> like I was saying about the veins. See a good shot right there. 
little indent slime here and here, one there. We can use black for that. And then for the hair, like we did yesterday, with the tomato, we're just going to use our black very lightly. And that's only for this top portion right here. So, let's do my veins. And then for my hair, it's going nice and soft. It should look something like that. See those little hairs? Those little black lines? And that is my watermelon plant. Alright, so I finished our journal sheet. <clears throat> I finished the back side of the coloring sheet. And that's it for watermelon today. Tomorrow, Friday, it'll be a lot drier outside. And, um,. We we're supposed to do zucchini today. Tomorrow, Friday, we're supposed to, we're supposed to do pumpkin. We'll see how it looks. And then uh, the zucchini's getting big, so that'd be kind of fun to draw. But uh, pumpkin's kind of get big too, but not as big as zucchini. Um, we'll play by ear. But um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Keep up the good work, and I can't wait to see your guys' pot. It's yellow and blue. So have a good rest of the day and I'll talk to you tomorrow.